Hi, I'm Jason Debley. Tonight's whiskey review is not from Scotland, not from Ireland, but from Canada. And there's a small distillery in British Columbia that I've been hearing a bit about. I've had a, two readers contact me via email asking me if I'd ever tried any whiskey by Macaloni's. So, Macaloni's Canadian Island Distillery. I don't review a lot of Canadian whiskey on here because I prefer Scotch whiskey, but I was recommended this by a couple of people, and then one of them went to the distillery and asked their head guy, a fellow named Dr. Graham Macaloni, who I think is the founder of the distillery, and he wrote me a letter and sent me this sample pack asking me, well, not asking me much anything, just to sample it and see what I thought. So that's kind of what happened. No money exchanged. I'm not uh, paid to endorse them. And so I tried it. I tried some of the whiskeys. And I'm not very skillful here. So they come in like little bottles. And this is, you know, the, the peated neck. They're also hard to pronounce. Uh, there's Anloy, which is my favorite, Kille, Kildara, Kirk and Riola, Peated Mac -na Break. Anyway, we'll start with my favorite. I'm just going to look for it here. It's called Anloy. So I'll say right off, I was impressed. I was shocked. I There's some Canadian whiskey distilleries that... You know, I, I don't want to review them because I don't want to give them bad press because I'm a Canadian. And they're trying to make an honest effort to make the spirit. But I tried these and I was shocked at how good they are. Like, shocked. And I'm fussy. And I'm not a big Canadian whiskey fan. And part of the reason I think I like these so much is that they're more in an Irish pot still style. And at the same time, they kind of taste like Scotch whiskey, like something out of Scotland rather than Ireland. Got this letter, and Dr. Graham Macaloni, who is a Scottish fellow, he studied at the Middleton Irish Whiskey Academy and learned all about Irish whiskey production. And eventually he moved from there to British Columbia, but while he was in uh, Ireland and Scotland, he worked in the distillery business. But when he moved to British Columbia, he had an opportunity to open his own distillery, and he was able to raise some money. And he also partnered with another fellow, and uh, specifically master distiller, Brian Nation, maybe? Anyway. I don't know much about that. All I know is the product. I'm not going to like read marketing material. So this, and this is, I don't know how it's properly pronounced. They call it Anloy. And I'm gonna get my glasses on. This is not a great organized review. So this whiskey is aged in Kentucky bourbon and Spanish Oloroso casks, as well as Portuguese red wine in Spanish Pedro Jimenez casks. So, whoop. why is it so good? Pardon the glasses, I don't normally wear them. I got a couple different pairs. I tend to not wear glasses in the review because they kind of date me with the uh, Austin Powers uh, look, which I'm not trying to achieve in a whiskey review. 46% alcohol by volume. 46% alcohol by volume, no artificial color, no chill filtration. And I think that makes a big difference in the taste, like enormous difference. Let's try. So the nose, I made some tasting notes on this one. Oh, no age statement. Anyway, the nose, you know, there's some peat. They're using Canadian barley in this production. But there's a bit of, I wouldn't say smoke, but a peat note to this. Honey, sweet dandelion. The nose is good. It's light, very kind of uh, maritime.
Kind of reminds me of old Pultley on the nose. On the palette, we're getting complexity because it's 46% alcohol by volume. And again, because there's no chill filtration, I really think it makes a difference in the flavor. Not to go on about it like Ralphie does and, and but lately I've been drinking a lot of what I would call mass-produced, multinational whiskey industry product. And it's a little too clean, a little too perfect. I find this a lot often in cognac. But this is not. It reminds me of what independent bottlers do, like Hart Brothers and Gordon and McPhail. This is real whiskey. And the beautiful thing is, although there isn't an age statement, it doesn't taste young. There's no bite. It's balanced, but challenging. So the Anloy, Kalila, kind of like that maybe. A little hint of Talisker type of style to it. Granny Smith apple, what did I write here? Malty, white oak, a little white chocolate. And a couple of these whiskeys in this sampler pack, I should say, are pot, uh, pot still whiskeys. The Calais, the Kildara, and the Kinkanora. This is not a good review because I can't pronounce anything. But I am impressed with the quality. I'm shocked. And I think a lot of that has to do with the quality of the wood. Like they talk about uh, with the Moscatel influence Calais, seventy percent bourbon, twenty percent Moscatel. Um, with the Kildara, it's forty-five percent bourbon cask, forty percent Oloroso, ten percent American, and five percent um, Pedro Jimenez. So I think the quality of wood in these whiskeys is very good. So that is the Anloy. And if I were, I might buy a bottle. I'm not might, I'm going to buy a bottle. I'm going to buy another sampler pack to share with my friends because I think my friends, I have a little whiskey group. We meet once in a while at Hazen in your office after work. Uh, me and a couple of fellows meet there. And I think they get a kick at how good these whiskeys are. Oh, impressed. Okay. That was Anloy. What was the other one I really liked? Kildara. So Kildara, Oloroso Sherry Cask Aging, uh, Pedro Jimenez, Kentucky Bourbon Cask. 46%. They're all 46% alcohol by volume. They're all non-chill filtered and no artificial color. And no age statement. But I've tried them all and none of them taste young. I'm doing this video on my uh, iMac computer uh, FaceTime. So sometimes I'm not looking into the camera. I'm, I'm looking into my screen. So I apologize. Terrible with technology. There's a young fella I hired to teach me how to edit videos, and I immediately forgot it. I feel like just paying him to edit all the videos. Actually, that's an idea. Okay, so this is the Kildara. This is the second one I like a lot. Sherry influenced. Solid. Good sherry, good wood. When I say good wood, like good casks for aging. Probably some first fill sherry casks used here. It's not old, worn out casks. I'm really impressed. I'm shocked. I, I'm not one of those guys or reviewers or gals who's going to say, I like Canadian whiskey because I'm Canadian or, you know, they're Canadian. They feel a nationalistic feeling. If I don't like it, I don't like it. So really good. I won't review the others only because it's kind of boring, but 
I'm going to put these all back in their packaging and I'll hold it up to you. And you can order these online from the website. I'll put a link in the description and give them a go. This sampler pack is about $60 Canadian, which is about, I don't know, $45 American. So that's their sampler pack. I'm just trying to make that level there. That's their sampler pack, and you're getting a nice broad selection from their pot still whiskeys. There's a couple of triple distilled pot still whiskeys, but also some single malt spirit. The Anloy, which I like a lot, is a Canadian island single malt whiskey. Uh, when they say island, they're referring to, uh, you know, uh, I think Victoria, where this uh, distillery is located. Anyway, it's in the province of British Columbia. And so they make two single malts and they make three pot still whiskeys. 59 bucks Canadian. Recommended. I am shocked how good they are. I know I'm repetitive. In the United States, you can order these from the website www.macalonidistillers.com. I'll have a link in the bottom of the description. If you're in the U.S., you can order it. If you're in the U.K., you can order it. And if you're in Canada, you can get it. Anyway, uh, I don't receive any compensation from them. But I'm impressed that such a young distillery can put out such a good product. And it comes down to good grain. The barley is Canadian. It's obviously high quality. Uh, the wood management, I think, is superb. They're using good quality casks, not picking up worn out ones. And the skill of whoever is distilling, distilling and blending this, uh, Dr. Graham McElhoney, he knows what he's doing. I'm impressed. I live in New Brunswick. I'm on the East Coast. They're on the West Coast. So, Otherwise, I would visit the distillery and maybe do a more in-depth review. That is for this week. That's my review. Coming up next couple of weeks will be another cognac. Okay. Thanks for tuning in and your patience with uh, my lack of technology. All the best.